As Brother Johnny mentioned, this is the conclusion of our summer series. We have had some outstanding lessons, outstanding studies throughout the course of the summer dealing with the matter of maintaining faithfulness, and we trust that this study has encouraged each of us in areas of our lives where we may be having difficulties uh, to realize that there is help available and that we are remaining faithful and of course, if we'll remain faithful, then we have great reward at the end of the way. And that's basically going to be our study this evening. All of the faithfulness that we've talked about, you know, where is it going to lead? And so we have Brother Leroy Dedman, who needs no introduction to this congregation, as he uh, has been around here for some time now, uh, in and out and whatever, so always does a great job. We we're delighted that he and his wife can be with us tonight. So, Brother Leroy, come and speak to us, please. Thank you, Sidney, and I do appreciate being here this evening, to have the opportunity to be in a place where I know you, or most of you, very well. It's always good to come back to Bremen. Jane and I moved here in a, almost in an empty nest syndrome of our life. Our children had grown and married and and uh, it's kind of like the couple that was standing on the front of the church building and the daughter was getting in the limousine with her new husband and the woman said, well, there goes the last of my children and I have nothing left. And the man just looked like, what am I, meatloaf, you know. But anyway, uh, it was a long time ago in a way, 1985, when we moved to Bremen, Georgia. Some of you were quite young then, and now you're older as we are. I turned 69 years old recently, and somebody emailed me and said, you know, your warranty runs out next year. <laughs> I guess they were speaking of the three score and ten, so I emailed them back and said, well, I'm looking for the if by reason of strength four score. But you never know. You just never know. I lost mom recently, about a month ago. 96 years old, she died in the house where she was born. Never was sick very much, not to amount to anything. Had her mind right to the very end. On Sunday night, she was reading a book, 